All right, Scoot Bat Dan here. I'm going to run through how to wrap a coil for a new atomizer that I designed for the BB tank. Ta da! All right, let's go ahead and run through it. And we'll separate all this out. Basically, this is like an arrow or a, a, a Kanger a Pro Tank um, atomizer. That I'll just kind of run through how I do it. Everybody does it differently, so it's always good to see how other people do it. All right, I uh, use a 564 drill bit, and I give it four wraps. I got four reps done. Kind of hold it with a pair of pliers bunched together. Heat set the coil. And once the coil is heat set and cooled down, we'll set that aside for right now. And I take some cotton. I usually pull off about a quarter inch of diameter. That should be enough. Now what I'm going to do is kind of just kind of roll it, and I need to get some water. So I forgot to grab water and bring it over here. So give me just a second. Let me grab some water, and I will come over right back over. Okay, you got water. Now what I'm going to do is wet the cotton and then continue to roll it oh it's nice and small so now we got a wet piece of cotton yay now we're going to take this grab my pair of pliers again We're going to hold the wet or the coil nice and tight. Now we're going to feed the cotton into the coil. I said now we're going to feed the cotton into the coil. The cotton's not listening to me. I'm just going to sit here and spin as cotton goes through. Sometimes you have to sit there and crunch it down a little bit to where it'll continue to spin through. Then you go until you get like resistance, which means that cotton's getting bigger than what the coil actually is. Now 
we're going to feed the legs of this down through here. And put the cotton down inside to side. Now I'm going to pull this around so it's nice and tight, the cotton is, and then I'm going to hold it right there. I pull one of these off to the side, put in my rubber isolator, feed that on the positive wire, and then pop that into place. Pull the other wire on the opposite side. And I'm going to start the positive um, post down in just until it starts. And that's when I'm going to go ahead and clip this wire right here off. Then come back, seat it, and then come back on the other side and do the other wire. And the little piece that's sticking out right here, I just kind of push with my fingernail up and underneath the rubber. So now if you, uh, we go to the top side. I coil nice and centered with cotton. I'm just go ahead and trim off the excess on the side. Put this little piece back on. And what I usually do is just kind of take my thumb and fluff it out on either side. There you go, cotton wick. Now we take the bottom piece and we'll screw that in. And then we'll take the top tube. And this is the flange because this goes through the, uh, the top of the tank. And then this mates to the bottom of the tank. And then we just push that on here, seat it. And it's ready to go. That's how I do a cotton wick. Now this is Scooby Bat Dan. Hopefully that helps somebody out there. You guys have a great day and talk to you later.